Hello everyone and good evening. Happy World Mental Health Day and Mental Health Month. We join the world in ending the stigma against mental health issues. So tonight, let's talk about our feelings. Let's talk about self-care and coping. Because uh, I'm sure you've so many things are happening. You know, we have the pandemic, we have online school, we have work from home. And uh, Kuminsan, it's so hard to cope. But I'm really looking forward to our class this evening. Are you ready? Ready to meet our quarantine classmates for today? Okay, it's time for us to begin. And as usual, since we're in school, we begin with attendance. Mag attendance check muna tayo. When I call your name, please turn on your camera and say present. Let's wake up with Sab and Jim. Sab Magalona and Jim Bacaro. Hi, present. present. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, present. Great <laughs> check. From ACTV, it's AC's life. AC Soriano. Present po. Oh, hello, AC. Good evening. The first ever Miss Trans Global, Mela Habijan. Hindi po liliban, patuloy na lalaban. Present po, Teacher Shell Joknom. Hello, Mela. And the chairperson of Youth for Mental Health, Dr. RJ Nagit. Hello, everyone. Magandang gabi po. Present, attorney. Hi, Doc RJ. Very good to see all of you. I think we're going to have a wonderful class today. Pero siyempre, dahil class ito, hindi natin may iwasan. We must begin with uh, the dreaded graded recitation. Kaya maghanda na kayong lahat. Naku! Compress na naman po na una activity. <laughs> Let's begin with the Sab and Jim. I understand that your band is called Cheat. Right? So my, <laughs> my, question, school. Sorry. <laughs> my question is, have you ever cheated in school? Uh, no, <laughs> never. At 30, why would you even ask that? <laughs> <laughs> Kasi na yung pangalan ng banda niyo kasi. <laughs> no, no, no. I've never I've never cheated in school. That's very good to hear. Hmm. But uh Jim is a bit silent there. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, ako, uh, ako I'm proud to say that um even in the self um self checking mm. format of desk Check your own papers. Check your own papers. I never cheated. Not because I'm morally superior, but I'm just Overly praning. Hindi kaya ng conscience ko. Yeah. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> Dapat pumasok na kayo sa law school ko. Para oh. I'm sure I will have a very good students there. <laughs> but, you know, it's been a long time that we've been in a lockdown with this pandemic. What, what skill or what, or what what have you come up with? What have you learned during this pandemic? Uh, Sab and Jim. I've learned to be more patient. <laughs> I've learned to be more patient because it's very close quarters with the people in the house and um, you just have to be patient unless you're just going to lose your mind. That's right. And how about you, Jim? Um, for me, uh, I think the difference between Sab and I is that si Sab usually works from home. Um, so uh, I re I'm the one who really had to adjust. I had I really dealt with a lot of uh, anxiety, um, and you know I think that's why Sab had to adjust more on more towards me. You no, know? that I think that's been her biggest adjustment. So what I've learned, I've learned a lot of things to help um, cope. Um, I've learned how to manage myself better. So I've. I've learned different practices, new practices to to help. So, but Siguro, the first thing that I really learned was self awareness and knowing that, you know, there were times that I was going through something that was actually beyond uh, something that can be fixed by meditation or you know, um, you know, there was some I I had to deal with things and I had to seek help. Yeah. Well, thank you for your your answers. You know. It's really been been difficult to cope, I think, for everyone. But uh, because I like your answers, 
pasado kayo sa graded recipe. <laughs> Attorney, add ko lang rin, I also learned how to cut hair, pero oh. si Jim ayaw magpagupit sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit kaya, ha? Let's, let's go to Mela now. Mela, maghanda ka. Hi, ito. Oo okay. nga. Pretty you know, sure niya naman po ako. Oo, oh, I, I did the research. And in your Miss Trans Global Q&A, you said that you're a very ambitious person. So ang tanong ko ay, what's your greatest ambition? Depends on what level, um, Attorney Shell. If it's career, I want to win an Oscar. Oh, I want to win okay. a, uh, an Oscar for acting or maybe writing. So that's the dream. If it's about relationships, okay. I want to marry the husband of my dreams and okay. raise two boys and have a family. If wow. it's about her life, I want to be just simply happy, die happily with me having or facing the world with open arms and letting them know that I lived my life to the fullest, I made my parents proud, and I became the strongest woman that I'm destined to be. Wow, ready, ready sa sagot. Ang ganda! <laughs> Grabe! Pasado na yan, kaagad agad. <laughs> Pero may isa pa akong tanong sa'yo. Yes po. What were you in school? Were you the teacher's pet? Were you the class president? The most talkative? The most likely to succeed, uh, ano kaya? I am everything you said. Oh, okay. <laughs> because you know what, Attorney Shell, part of me growing up, I've always inculcated within me that I had to fight for my space. Um, being an LGBTQ+, I've always been reminded that the label gay or trans or being an LGBTQ+, will always be seen as a weakness. Therefore, my defense mechanism was to be good at school. I had to perform well. I have to make sure that I am on top of everything. And uh, yun yung kumbaga ay nakasanayan ko. I, ha I always have to be my best so that before they see me as this gay little kid or now as a trans person, they'll see me as someone who's intelligent and smart. But now things have reversed. I want them to see me as a trans woman. And that being trans allows myself to be intelligent, to be smart, and someone who can transform. Wow, excellent, excellent. You have passed. Very good. Thank you. Snaps. <laughs> Let's go to RJ, Doc RJ. Naninibago ka ba na ang tawag na sa'yo ngayon ay Doc na at uh, hindi na yung Mr. lang? <laughs> Actually, ano po, parang hindi pa rin ako nakaka-adjust kasi parang yung practice ko ngayon is more of public health. So, wala ako, hindi ako usually nag, nakikita na naka-white coat uh, as normal doctors would uh, be seen. So, uh, same lang naman. Parang ako, hindi ko masyadong dinalagyan kasi ng importance yung mga title. So, either way, kahit RJ lang yung tawag sa akin, okay. I remember, to. you remind me of when I was a new lawyer. Hindi pa ako sanay pag tinatawag na attorney o abogado. <laughs> And it took a while, actually, for me to accept my new role as, as a lawyer. I can imagine how it must feel to be a doctor, especially now under this pandemic. Um, I heard that um, you're taking up your master's. Yes, for master's. In, in community you. development. Community development, yes. Hindi ka ba nagsasawa sa pag-aaral? Nagsasawa ka ba sa pag-aaral mo? Um, ano po siya eh. Part po siya ng pagiging doctor, I, I guess. So, parang ako, sa public, since public health yung practice ko ngayon. Um, sa tingin po, parang it's part of it eh. Parang kung gusto natin talaga na empowered yung mga tao in terms of taking care of themselves, we have to look at kung paano natin siya i-address at the community level. Kasi usually ngayon po, parang laging tinitignan yung health as individual. So, pupunta, magkakasakit ka, pupunta ka sa doktor, treat ka as an individual. Pero, pagbalik nila sa community, minsan doon talaga nakikita yung mga tinatawag nating social determinants of health na minsan nagpuput sa kanila at risk of uh, illnesses. Oh, that's great. And because I like your answer, you also passed the graded recitation with flying hey. colors. <laughs> now for AC. Ito, true yes, or false ang tanong ko sa iyo. Umabot ka daw ng 6 hours sa IG live mo? Paano nangyari Opo. yun? <laughs> Kasi, yun nga, I think it's also, bakit ka natatawa sa akin? <laughs> 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 Hindi, totoo sana. 
Um, because it's one of my coping mechanisms, I guess, because nga quarantine, wala tayo makausap, and parang paayuda na rin natin sa mga nagpa-follow sa atin na parang may parang kausap din sila and para may outlet din sila na just in case pag na sila mag-online class, para at least they have a friend, well, they have a friend in me that, uh, ano, pwede na, pwede nilang puntahan online. Ayan. That's good. Buti ka pa, kaya mo ng six hours straight, ha? Ako, mag-lecture lang, eh. Dalawang oras, sirap na ako. <laughs> <laughs> Ganun po talaga yata. Ay, lalamunan ko parang may mahal ka yata. Siyang sabi. <laughs> Pero ito, balita ko, ikaw ay isang fan ni Nikki Minaj. Pwede mo bang ipaliwanag sa akin? Eh, dahil I'm with na ako. Sino ba iyo si Nikki Minaj? <laughs> <laughs> okay, talaga po, kayo na po, kanina niya po nakuha yan. Anyway, si Nicki Minaj po ay isa sa mga um, talagang pinakatitinga lang babae sa buong mundo na talaga namang women empowerment ang kanyang um, nakalagay sa kanyang epitaph. Yan. Na talagang kapag siya ay nag na talaga, parang parang kang nakikinig ng hele ng mga ibon, ganyan po. Oh, okay. I, I have to to watch that because I like your answer. <laughs> you have passed the graded recitation. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! Basado tayo lahat, classmate. Oh, classmate. <laughs> <laughs> batch nyo. By the way, to everyone who's watching, if you have any questions, I will entertain them later. All of us will try to answer them. Please put them on on our chat. Now we move on. We're tapos na tayo dyan sa nakaka-stress na graded recitation. Puntahan naman natin ngayon ang group discussion. Kasi naisip ko, sabi ko, we've been in quarantine for eight long months. And it's it's been tough even for me. But I can imagine how tough it is for for all of you. So let's talk about low moments first. Yung low moments, lalo na sa work-related na mga bagay. What... what um, kind of low moments have you experienced in this long lockdown that we've had? Ah, Mela, baka gusto mong ikwento yung mga pahirapan na natin na dito sa lockdown. Yes, sige po. Alam niyo po, yung hirap nagmula doon sa fact that I work in an industry that gathers people. I host events, I act I, I even mentor students how to write. At nandun, parang isang libong mga bata, dalawang daang mga bata na gusto matutong magsulat. And having said that, the pandemic, when it was announced that we will be having a lockdown, parang the world changed in me. And I asked myself, the first thing that I asked, paano ako mabubuhay? Yun yung una kong tanong. Dahil lahat ng kabuhayan ko ay na-cancel unti-unti. Lalo na po nung nag-march nung lahat ng mga text sa akin because I have booked a lot of uh, uh, gigs na up until May. And then they said, hindi tayo matutuloy. And then what dawned on me is that knowing the fact that we will all be inside our homes and we are not allowed to go out, definitely it's the end of my career for that matter. Paano na ako? So I was inside my home in... Uh, in my own space, reflecting and crying and even asking the Lord, God, ano na ang gagawin ko? And how will I be able to survive this pandemic? I know I am healthy, but deep within me, nandun yung pag-aalala na paano ko susuportahan yung aking sarili. But I guess um, God speaks in so many languages and one language that He's given me is the Boys Love series called Together. Uh-oh. Kaya meron pong altar dito si Bright Bachirawit at si Win Metawin because they helped me go through um, that anxious moment in my life. Isa sila sa mga nagpahupa ng kalungkutan at muling maniwala sa tawag ng pag-ibig, sa kilig sa buhay, sa determinasyon na balang araw yung tao o yung bagay o yung mithi na gusto mo ay makukuha mo rin. Wow. Doc RJ, anong sasabi mo sa coping mechanism ni, ni Mela? 
Um, sa tingin ko po, ano, no, healthy talaga yon Kasi yun nga, very important sa atin yung pag-express ng mga emotions natin. Especially kung mabigat na siya sa atin. Alam natin ngayon, in, in a time of pandemic, posibleng magkaroon talaga tayo ng negative emotions. So pwede tayong magalit, pwede tayong malungkot, pwede tayong magluksa. Kasi somehow lahat tayo ay nawalan ng uh, kahit pa paano, ng, uh, ng isang bagay. No? Yung isa, isa dyan, parang nawalan tayo ng ano, loss of mobility. di ba So isa yan sa mga gusto natin i-highlight. And of course, Um, maraming mga uncertainties na hindi natin alam kung ano yung mangyayari the next few weeks, in the next few months. At uh, yung mga plano na meron tayo na sinet before ay posibleng hindi na natin sila magawa. No? So ito yung mga tinatawag nating ambiguous loss. No? So ito yung mga bagay na hindi natin alam kung nawala na ba talaga sila or kung sa tingin natin ay nawala na, kung babalik pa itong mga ito. So very important na uh, yun nga, parang napag-uusapan natin siya ngayon, at least po proseso natin yung mga mabibigat na nararamdaman natin. Magandang term yun, ah, ambiguous loss. Ngayon lang natin na tututunan yan sa ilalim ng COVID. And I guess there are a lot of ambiguous losses we're going through in this time of the pandemic. Uh, Jim, you mentioned earlier you had some issues about coping with working from home. How has it been? How has it been? Um, I think uh, the, the, the most difficult part um, during this whole time was uh the fact that you know i had i i run a business so um because of the pandemic we had to close um a lot of stores uh in the malls so well what what i think a low point was remember that you know, i had to you know tell pe- pretty, pretty much people that i cared about um that they wouldn't be working for a few months um they don't i i had no answers I mean, it, it was the first time i was put in a position that um i i, I didn't know what to tell them <laughs> i didn't know like what's gonna happen next week tomorrow um so there and then i had to do it via zoom pa. <laughs> so parang um yeah, parang you tried so hard to provide what you could as a business to them yeah but it just wasn't working anymore and it was very Off. Yeah, I'm. I mean, from I think in that aspect. Um, but you know, um, I'm. I'm just glad that Linya Linya was was able to survive the the the, the storm. But uh, on a personal level, naman siguro again, kaya sabi ko kanina si Sab yung mas nag-adjust sa akin. Kasi um, may ano? I think the biggest issue was I have a certain workflow na um, when it comes to work, and then. You know, I expected everyone here at home to adjust. You know, even with my children, because we're different from Sab's style. Like, si Sab, um, free spirited, and um, ako parang oh, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. dapat uh, uh, music time yun with the boys. Ganyan. So, dun dun kami nagbangga talaga. And there, I guess that's it. Um, siguro um, it, it was really about adjusting and reminding myself that I have other people here and that hindi pwede kung ano lang ako sa opisina, ganun din ako dito. Si Sab naman. Well, attorney, parang nakakatawa, parang law school. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, thank you for that question. Shout out to Bella. <laughs> Shout out to our Miss Trans. Um, for me, I think the the, the adjustment, ako talaga nahihiya ako to talk about it kasi for me, hindi siya too much of an adjustment kasi I've been staying at home, working from home for a long time. I have two young babies. Uh, I'm a breastfeeding mom so I really try to stay with them as much as I can. Um, and for me, parang na ano ako eh, it's, I don't know, uh, Doc RJ ha, pero nag-consult talaga ako dito. Pero, <laughs> parang, parang, alam mo yung, alam mong may feelings ka, mm. but feel like, kuwawa naman yung iba. So parang feeling ko, ayoko magreklamo kasi parang nahihiya ako. Parang ganun yung, I, I was at that point, um, I, 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 I'm sure it's, it, it's normal, pero... I would love to hear from an expert about it. Yung yung guilt na parang ayaw magreklamo. Are my feelings valid? <laughs> Doc RJ, it's a very good question. 
Oh, I think. Ay, nawala po sa. <laughs> nawala. Tinibdib niya yung anong consultation mo, Sab. So, babalik wala siya. <laughs> May feed daw kasi. Hindi pwedeng libre. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> But yun, uh, ano, the, ayan, yeah. it's back. Sorry, sir. Were you able to get that? Uh, no, I wasn't. Na-disconnect ako eh. Sorry. Ayan, tanatanong ko, parang anong gagawin ko, kumari, I know that I'm, I'm also freaking out, pero I know that there are a lot of people who have it so much worse. So parang nagigilty ako na magreklamo or even vent about mm. it uh, how, what what should i do um siguro you just need to remind yourself siguro sometimes na merong mga things na outside of your control and uh, meron kang somehow meron kang magagawa for them pero you can't actually solve everyone's problems kasi minsan ganyan tayo if we want to help a person parang pinapasan natin lahat pero again meron din tayo mga limits as people and syempre kailangan din natin recognize na meron tayong kanya-kanyang way of coping so we can't actually compare yung ano natin no yung uh, way of coping natin to another person so yon um kailangan i-remind natin talaga yung sarili natin eh ng mga ganung mga um, ideas thank one you our, one of our viewers have said that your feelings are valid pod mom. yes oh yes that's trisha that's our ano pod kids so wake up with jim and sab hi trisha uh, uh, ac Totoo. ano yung mo- moments mo naman sa at ng pandemic na to very ano very ang hirap kasi uh, attorney at uh, ito kasi siya um late ako nag college so i gra- i just graduated no february buti nakaabot pa ako lang parang uh, arch talaga so na feel ko talaga na nag culminating activity talaga na natapos ko siya tapos though february okay pa um march parang doon ko na na feel parang uh, parang parang is this quarter life crisis na parang sabay na um nag lockdown tayo so parang parang gumuho yung mundo natin na parang sana ko mag-apply anong gagawin ko parang kailangan ba idle lang ako so um 25 tapos kaha graduate lang so parang i was looking for a way to make my days relevant and me um relevant as well parang nung college, ang laki-laki ng hopes ko na parang, oh my God, I'll do this, I'll do that. And ngayong 2020, parang I had really big, <laughs> grabe naman yun. <laughs> yung, um, nung ngayong 2020, I, I had really big plans na parang sabi ko, um, sige, sa July, lalabas na yung vaccine. Kaya ko na yan. Tapos, alam mo yun, yung parang nasisira na nasisira yung hopes mo na parang um, siguro hindi naman siya nakakadismay na kasi syempre may mas hirap pa yung pinagdadaanan natin sa kanila. Um, siguro nakakainis lang na na ito yung nangyari sa atin, sa ating lahat na parang ang daming tumigil, ang daming naunsame. Pero ayun, um, nung eventually ang naging coping mechanism ko is to take it one day at a time na parang allow myself to rest na parang um somehow nakakapagtrabaho pa rin naman ako thankfully na um mi- ngayon din may inaasikaso ako na may pinitch ako na plug ko na rin o plug ko na rin na um yun um may gagawin kami project with a telco na um one modem na bibilhin ng ninyo, just in case kayo mga viewers, one modem na bibilhin ninyo, may isang modem na mapupunta sa isang bata na walang connectivity. So, okay. ayun, very, very, yun yung pinagkakaabalahan ko this past few weeks na parang na alam kong may silbi pa rin ako. Because it's so hard eh. Alam ko hindi lang para sa akin, lalo sa iba na... Um, nasa bahay lang talaga na ang tagal na naka-lockdown na hindi sila makalabas at all. So, ayun. Parang I still choose to look at the brighter side. Is that a good coping mechanism of RJ or is that just parang temporary or <coughs> um Ako kasi parang I, I think it's very important na magkaroon tayo ng sense-making doon sa mga nangyayari sa ating negative things before. no 
kasi sabi nga ni ano ni Victor Frankl, 'di ba? Sabi niya, uh, suffering ceases to be suffering once we find meaning in it. So important na napag-uusapan natin yung mga ganito at napoproseso natin sila. At uh, yung uh, nasabi mo nga kanina, nag- nag-reach out ko to other people at dinadiversify mo yung activities mo. Napaka-importante noon kasi nga parang uh, kailangan pag to- ay, uh, i-channel natin no yung energies natin to something also very productive. Pero syempre kailangan din natin kilalanin na hindi naman all the time ay 100% productive ka no in a time of pandemic. It's actually expected na posibleng mag-slow down ka ng konte or hindi ka masyado maging effective. So you also need to cut yourself some slack with regard to that. At minsan yun yung mahirap eh. Parang how do you lower your expectations sa sarili mo? So uh-huh. usually naririnig ko sa mga, mga bata ngayon. Grabe ano. You know, let, let's move a, bit, a little bit. And, and I want to talk about another source of anxiety. Kasi now that we're in a lockdown, Halos 24-7, katabi natin yung cellphone natin, yung laptop. Yung, but minsan, nakaka-stress talaga yung, yung online social media platforms, yung friends, etc. natin. How, how, how do we cope with it? How can we cope with it? Um, I, I'd like to hear from Mela. Anong, anong, how do you deal with, with that kind of uh, toxicity in, in social media? Alam mo, Tony Shell, um, may mga nagsasabi na somehow we have to distance ourselves from time to time sa social media. Yung iba naman, kinot nila yung sarili nila mula sa pagbabasa ng balita. Pero don't like disagree ako doon because we still have to be in the know kung, kung ano yung nangyayari. Although guilty rin ako at some parts because right now, in terms of the government's response to, to COVID, huminto na talaga ako, nawala na talaga ako ng pag-asa pagdating sa pagre-respond din ng administrasyon ito. At naniwala na lang ako na, sige, magkanya-kanya na lang tayo and let's just help each other out. My social media right now is a platform for me to be able also to help others. Kasi yung social media in the time of pandemic was my means to fulfill dreams. I was able to join a virtual pageant kung saan hindi ko inaakala na my four-year-old dream would come true. I've always dreamt of becoming Miss Universe. But as that dream was crushed by, by people who thought that I couldn't because I wasn't a, a, a woman. But right now that, that I have fully owned my womanhood and when I encountered that call to audition, I tried it out. And then little did I know I would be victorious and would be bringing this country something that we can yeah. all proud of. And that is an accomplishment on my end. Um, to pinangarap ko dati na magkaroon ng sarili kong talk show, um, in fact, I auditioned for, for so many um, television shows, whether it be Pinoy Big Brother or a singing competition called Pinoy Pop Superstar. But I got rejected for I was different. Um, I, I remember back then, this audition from Pinoy Pop Superstar, the audition master told me, you know what? You are confusing. You confuse me. Your voice is Um, you sound like a man, but you you act like you're a woman. So that hit me, and I stopped singing. But it led me to finding another voice, which is speaking. Nagsalita ako na nagsalita. Minaster ko yung art of speaking. And right now, I couldn't stop talking, as you can tell. And I'm very interested in getting to know people, because that's how I learned. So that's where the dream started. When the pandemic came and people were relying on social media, um, I saw it as an opportunity. StreamYard, uh, I've learned how to use StreamYard. Sabi ko, okay, sige. Um, bakit hindi natin subukan na to pa rin ang ating pangarap? And now, I have threesome with me. And I was able to interview personalities like the vice president, like Casey Concepcion, McCoy Dobbs, and different personalities Soon, ikaw at Tori Shell ang gigigest ko as well as Sam, Jim, AZ, and um, Doc RJ. And I hope to, be, to, to get to know more people in this platform. So it's really up to us on how to use social media to our advantage. I'd like to believe that it is in our control. It is a decision for us whether it will be useful or, for us or whether it will be negative on us. Lagi naman tayong may choice eh. At yung choice na yon kapangyarihan yon At sana gamitin natin yung kapangyarihan na yon to be able to move mountains. And I will always believe in it because I was able to do so. That's so well said. It's so inspiring. So inspiring. I, I, think, 
I think we should all learn from that, that the pandemic shouldn't stop us from achieving our dreams. And in fact, it can even help us to attain to attain our dreams. Definitely. Yeah, hey, can I just can I, I know, sorry, can I just interject? Uh thank you so much, Mela, for that. Kasi sobrang na 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 remind ako na dapat nga talaga gamitin talaga yung platform natin for these things. Kasi admittedly ako, I mean, siguro inano ko yung mental health ko rin talaga kasi nakaka nakaka depress talaga yung mga nangyayari, de ba? Lalo na kung like uh, I mean, frankly speaking, how are the government is handling this and all the all the things that i'm reading up on it's just really 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 depressing and parang at the point i just really didn't want to interact anymore or read and i know it's a very privileged thing to say um i just wanted to be honest and uh, i'm sure i'm not the only one who has been going through this maybe some viewers might be feeling this way and um, it's just a good reminder na we shouldn't lose hope because it can also be the platform na yun nga, makakatulong tayo. And in, in, in a way, we will inspire people to do better like what you're doing, Mela. Thank you very much, Sab. Maraming maraming salamat. I appreciate it kasi kumbaga parang lalo na ngayon, ang hirap kumuha ng lakas. And as you've mentioned, somehow we've caught um, relationships with other people just because we are inside our homes and the only thing we could connect is through social media. Minsan pa nga, um, hindi natin alam kung um, nakakatulong ba ito sa atin or hindi. But somehow, I've woken up to, to our realizations that it is up to us how to use it. Yeah. Kaya kung paano natin gagamitin, doon natin mas mapalalakas. And I'm very happy that um, I was able to hold on to it at hindi ako nag-crush at nag-crumble along the way. Yeah. It's just, I, I'll just, sorry, one last. Kasi nga, um, being a mother of two boys, parang I'm, I'm at the point na I have to be happy around them. I can't have this negative energy around them. But then also, on the other hand, I don't want to give up and... Um, yes parang give up na lang ako sa country and parang bala na ano <laughs> parang we have to i i want i want them to know me as someone who is strong pa rin naman so kaya natin to <laughs> and you are strong sab you are strong and add ko that. lang na yun na eh, you as a parent it's your responsibility to leave a, a country na you are envisioning for your kids and exactly. you and the ba Exactly. Mahirap lang talaga minsan pag may mga pa-death threat yung mga tao, di ba? <laughs> so, um, ayun. Kaya, kaya naman yan. Kaya. Actually, an interesting question yan kay Doc RJ. How, how do we deal with stress from, from online? Yung mga basher, yung mga, yan, mga threats. I think everyone here has okay. somehow been at the receiving end of that. Oh, alam ko. Actually, my personal experience na ako with regard to that, no. Pero ako, I just ano, I just filter kung it's something na actionable yung threat na yan, no, hindi, no. So, if something na parang as in mataas yung level of threat, may mga details talaga tapos parang continuous siya na nangaharas sa yo, then of course you do something about it concretely. You file a case, no. May meron tayong mga batas ngayon. So, kasi Attorney Chel can actually enlighten us on that. Pero may mga uh, mga anti-cyber crime uh, laws, no. So, hindi pa ako lawyer, pero yun yung mga pwede nating iyan, no. Uh, panghawakan. Pero syempre, um, ako, lagi akong nagsasabi na parang pag uh, tama yung sinasabi mo at nasa wasto ka, minsan dyan talaga nag attract ng mga trolls. Eh. So, minsan nag-engage ko rin siya. Eh, kung effective ba yung sinasabi mo, tama ba yung sinasabi mo. So, yun. Um, pero syempre, you also need to take a step back at certain times. No? Lalo na kung sa tingin mo ay overwhelming na siya. And uh, syempre, minsan kailangan mo rin mag- uh, uh, magano no mag-change ng mga notifications mo sa phone at least ngayon di ba pwede mo nang i-mute yung mga certain words or pwede mong i-turn off yung uh, ano mo yung Facebook notification so etong mga ganito meron tayong control sa kanila so when we talk about the use of social media hindi naman tayo kunarin na stress na tayo alisin natin lahat sometimes we just need to be mindful on how we consume them so syempre sa umaga hindi naman titingnan mo agad yung notifications mo tapos puro troll agad no so ano natin no allow natin yung sarili natin na mag-ease muna sa day mag 
magano muna, mag-breakfast ka muna, magkape ka muna, bago mo tignan yung mga tools. No? So, bago ka mang away. Siyempre, pag kumaga, di ba? Huwag muna. Mamaya nga nila. Mamaya nga nila. Doon muna patulan yung mga tools. Ayun. Ako, if I, if I may inject lang po, um, ang uh, naniwala na ako talaga sa kasabihan, we have to choose our battles kasi mauubos tayo at mauubos. There are people who do not deserve our attention. But at the same time, there are people that we have to respond to. Kasi um, parang ano siya, opportunity siya to educate. For example, I received this comment about a per, uh, from a person na um, nag-degrade ng boses ko because I sound like a man. And it's part of my biology. And parang coming into terms with my nature as a trans person, may insecure ba ako because my voice is low, my voice is deep. But coming into terms with my identity, I know that my voice has been essential into educating people, into giving out inspiration to other people. So bakit ko ikakaya yung boses ko? That's why I replied to it. At sinabi ko sa kanya na hindi ako na-offend because one, I am very proud of my nature as a trans person. It is not something to be ashamed of. I am a woman in my heart, in my mind, and in my soul. My bo- If my body says otherwise, and you think of it differently, then it's not my problem anymore because my strength comes from the trans woman that I am. So sinagot ko siya. Sinagot ko siya ng, ng I think, may respeto. And one thing um, that I woke up to is a message from him apologizing and telling me that he realized this mistake. He realized that he's coming from um, an immature point of view, and he said sorry, and I appreciated that. And after that, I just thank the Lord for the inspiration and the the the, the being that I have. Parang it strengthened me more because I encounter a lot of comments in my TikTok um, account. Kasi gumagawa po ako ng educational TikTok videos about the LGBTQ+. And there are people coming from the religious sector, coming from the Bible um, defenders background, who will always ostracize me for being an LGBTQ+. But I, I have my faith to rely to. I have my belief and my God to hold on to. And I know my worth. Yon, hindi ko sila pinapansin kasi alam ko sa sarili ko that God made me a trans woman. God made me a beautiful trans woman. And I will always be proud of that. Beauty queen! <laughs> Crown. <laughs> how, how do you deal with the stress uh, online? I, I would imagine from where you are, medyo minsan matindi talaga yan. AC? Ay, ako po pala. Ay, ako po pala. Ano na, ano, RJ? Not listening. Asensya na po. Ayun. Very tricky din yung situation because um yung nature of work ko is social media and um, parang hindi man ako required to be seen there every day. Parang to be able to um, work things out, I have to be um, seen there every day. Tapos, um, meron yung one time na I, um, we had loss in our family. Tapos parang I was so confused kung um am i mad am i um sad am i grieving so i was so confused and um ang defense mechanism ko kasi back then is to travel because i love being alone and to be able to think napaka social na <laughs> ayan so ngayon trapped tayo sa bahay, sa bahay so parang may time na hindi ko alam kung saan ko yung channel kung ano yung nararamdaman ko for that certain day halimbawa galit ako um, and it roots to that na nagkaroon ng loss. And hindi ko talaga alam ko sa kayo channel. So, ang mali kong ginawa, na i-channel ko siya online. So, ang ginawa ko, inaway-away ko yung mga nagpa-follow sa... Hindi naman sa inaaway-away. Parang um, nagpaka-sarcastic ako na parang yung makasagot ko minsan, parang tinatanong ba kita? Ganyan yung parang, for me, feeling ko joke lang. But... 
um to others it's not because i channel bakit kayo natatawang ni sab get ko yon get ko yon it's it's diba, green, green parang, happens in different ways na it's a channel natin na yung bad energy online na parang hindi dapat doon nilalabas. Parang kung may group chat man tayo na parang support group, sana doon na lang. Yun yung mga mali ko na alam ko na um, deserve ko to, to um, be crucified. Ano. Um, siguro, ayun, uh, eventually natutunan ko na lang din talaga na to channel the, the emotion kung kanina dapat siya um i channel or kung para ka usap yung tao na yon halimbawa actually alam ko hindi lang ako kasi ang, alam ko ang daming galit sa situation ngayon kay ang daming galit sa Twitter sa totoo lang na parang sometimes it's not good sa ating mental health so um before hindi ako naglo-log out sa Twitter ko ngayon nilo-log out ko na sa there there was a time na in-install ko talaga sa so, dini-activate ko sa just because I don't want my anger to be released there because it's not the right venue to do so. Ayun. Uh, question, RJ. How do you deal with that, yung, yung anger, especially yung pag-event online? Kasi I think we all uh, we all succumb to that temptation once in a while at mm-hmm. least. Oh, oh, very tempting rin kasi siya eh. Para kunare galit ka, parang i-out, i-type mo yan sa social media and then makikita mo yung ano, reactions, no? At usually sa social media, yan yung mga nakakuha ng maraming likes, maraming mga shares. So, ako, ano talaga, no? when uh, you're angry or parang very extreme yung emotions mo, um, I usually take a step back, no? Uh, at uh, tinitignan ko muna na parang, uh, this, is this the right time for me to say it? Kasi minsan may mga nasasabi tayo, tapos pag nagay mo na yan sa social media, forever na yan, may mga resibo ang mga tao ngayon. Kahit na mag-iba ka na ng position on a certain issue, yeah, mag-iba ka na ng position on a certain issue, ano pa rin, no? I- ibabalik at ibabalik nila yan. So, you have to be conscious na uh, yung social media is a public space, and uh, the same time, syempre ayaw rin naman natin na ano siya, no? Uh, Kung baga parang uh, gamitin yun against us. So ako parang hindi talaga ako naniniwala dun sa cancel culture. Kasi yan yung very common ngayon, eh. Parang merong certain sense of values na uh, kailangan mag-subscribe ka. And if, all, if you fall short doon, parang minsan may mob culture yung mga tao on, on Twitter. So siguro ano, kailangan natin makita na yung mga kausap natin on the other side of the screen, are also human. May mga feelings rin sila, nagkakamali rin, nagkakamali rin sila, at uh, lahat tayo hindi naman perfecto. So, let's allow other people to actually feel and then learn from it. Curious lang ako, kanina nabanggit ni Mela yung Boys Love series. Yan yung kanyang go-to what to watch on, 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 yes. on um, pang-distress. What do you watch, uh, Jim and Sab and AC? <laughs> Meron ba kayong go-to series na rin na ganun? <laughs> Ang dami ko nung pinanood. <laughs> well, kami actually at the start of the quarantine ako, uh, puro mabibigat yung mga pinanood ko. Uh, I think like, lalo na sa HBO, um, baliktad kami ni Sab, si Sab really got into like, um, what she reality. calls it, trashy reality TV shows. Um, shout out to all my real housewives. <laughs> um, ako naman, I got into really serious HBO uh, where, uh, series where you invest a lot of time in like the wire sopranos um yeah the, those are wala kaming go to show pero i guess naging ganun ang direction namin ngayon parang si Sab parang just distract herself <laughs> with all these things ako naman parang oh, okay okay lang naman siguro na sira ulo yung <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, why, like, okay, our government's like this, great. Uh, pero at least hindi ako, hindi ako pinapatay ng mga gangster. Parang gano, parang gano na lang ang naging thinking. Ko. Okay. Hey, ikaw, AC. Ako po, um, mga nagrewant ako ng mga favorite ko mga series before. And um, nakakita ako ng one common theme doon which is parang sense of neighborhood because it's something that we lost eh, these past few years na parang hindi naman tayo mabati sa mga kapitahin natin dito. So, number one na uh, I recommend watching na Good for Mental Health is Reply 1988 because it brings you back to those simple 
simpler times na parang parang nagiging ngayon siya na parang nagsisiga wala pang cellphone sobrang sim- simple ng ng buhay ayun is that on netflix yes it is yes it is on it's netflix. so good K drama ba yan K drama it is K drama yeah. i haven't seen uh, it sa sabay tayo okay oh, no, 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 it's, very the me. <laughs> it's very sitcom it's very sitcom but um Grabe yung kurots puso. Story about mothers, um, children, Aww. families. So good. Yeah. Okay. I think we've been having such a great discussion. And I, I want to, let's, if we can focus on, on this coping. Kasi, you know, in, in my conversations with a lot of young people, they, they always mention to me the sense of being helpless or powerless, not in control. Parang hindi nila ma, especially now with, with the lockdown, it, it's a feeling that I I can really share with them because you know when I I was ako anak ako ng martial law, I was 11 years old when martial law was declared. I was 25 when the Marcoses left the country, so I I really felt so hopeless and helpless, and even times there were times we would feel very scared. I'm wondering how how we can cope with that, and our young people especially can cope with that those feelings. Anyone? Nakahiyan ba tayo? Ano na kamo? Hindi po para repeat na question. Yung ano yung feeling ng hopelessness, yung yung feeling na you're not in control. Parang I've I've got that ah. sense from a number of young people that I've spoken to. And I'm wondering how, because they, they sometimes they ask me for advice, eh? and I, I don't really know what's the best way to how to respond to to that. I, I can empathize with it, because ganon din yung feeling ko naman ng kabataan ko. Pero syempre, iba yung situation nung sa situation ngayon. Uh, welcome, eh. uh, what we vote, what we constantly share on our podcast, yeah. Um, because most of our listeners are young, no. Um, we always promote um, gratitude. So starting your day with gratitude, um, it sets yourself up na. It sets your mind up na parang ako, I had to go through the practice of actually making it as the exercises as babaw as possible. As in starting the day, like, thank you that there are birds in the sky. <laughs> Thank you that hindi umuulan first thing in the morning. Kunwari lang. Um, so that, it's it's grateful, uh, being grateful. Um, and I think an- another thing is managing the information that you receive. Um, kasi dun kami, that's what we always tell our pod kids, uh, uh, the listeners of our pod, na um, now, Twitter, if Twitter is a danger zone right now, don't go there. Um, if Facebook is where all your annoying titos and titas comment, then don't no need to see them, because it, it, you know I think especially with how you manage your time and your emotions, it's so different now. Eh, because before, okay, um, my family reunion. Oh my God, I dread the family reunion because. Uh, on that Saturday, uh, masasabihan akong tumaba, masasabihan ako, ano ng trabaho mo? Or whatever. Um, all those <coughs> things. But now, it's like, hey, my, my Zoom, ha? My Zoom. Alam mo yan, alam mo yan. Um, <laughs> Weekly Zoom. Whatever. So, anyway, ang ano ko is, um, it's that na you manage the information that you you consume. And, but lastly, um, the reason why lagi naming pinupush sa podcast namin yung registering to vote. Kasi at the end of the day, hindi, not everyone is as fortunate as us to actually get the decent, to get decent information, to know what the country needs. Like, to actually vote for people like Attorney Chell. Um, uh, I mean, you know, um, so it's, that's the thing. Parang yung last namin is yes, manage the information you receive, but managing doesn't mean you completely withdraw lang. It also means that you should still actively seek um, the information necessary to actually contribute. Because at the end of the day, kung lahat tayo mag 
lahat tayo, we submit to the fact na, okay, uh, Other people would I mean, uh, yung, yung the people who are running this co- this country, mga engot, uh, sorry, um, I mean, <laughs> you know, if, if ganun, if ganun, rin, if ganun yung sitwasyon, di ba, bakit tayo rin magiging engot? Di ba? So, mag-iengotan na lang lang tayong lahat. So, um, there, that's why, so, yun yung parang naging go-to process namin. Parang, be thankful of what you have, manage how you, ano, kami talaga ni Sab, nagtatanungan kami kung ano mag-dinner kami, mag-lunch kami. Sabi ni Sab, uy, napanood mo yung pre- um, press con na naman last night, yung late na. Tapos ako, not now. Pero, <laughs> so, if kung ano, sasabihin ko, uy, Sab, nakita ko na to, may, may nahuli na na bang, ano, billion na nanakaw. Tapos siya, not now. <laughs> so, manage, but at the same time, still, still, ang push namin is, find where you get, right? parang still, you have to seek to be educated pa rin. Just look for the mediums that won't compromise your mental health. Yeah. Oh, so great. I, I really, I'm really happy we're having this conversation. Before we move on, though, I have to greet some people because there are some young people who I've been interacting with lately that I want to have a shout out to. Uh, one is Hans. Hans is a grade 12 a senior high school student from uh, Tayabas, Quezon, who wrote me a few weeks ago. He wanted some advice about how to become a lawyer. Imagine he's only 12. And, and he's so excited. So I want to say hi to, to Hans. Also to Aliana. Aliana is a second year college FEU student who surprisingly also wants to take up law. Kuminsan nga naisip ko eh, bakit gusto niyo mag-aral ng law? Meron bang <laughs> Pilipinas? <laughs> and then a third is to Kuya Ian. I, I don't know your last name, Kuya Ian, but uh, again, you, you got in touch. You wanted some advice, and I hope that I was able to, to help you as well with your, your questions. And by the way, we have to have a shout out to Alex Ayala for the wonderful performance that she, she did in the French Open Juniors. And not only to her, but to all of our athletes. And I, I think they're, they're doing a really humongous job. By the way, huh, tomorrow is International Girls' Day. So congratulations and happy International Girls' Day to, to everyone as well. Okay, let's move and on. And also, Ator, 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 if I may add, it's also the International Coming Out Day. Oh, to Bukas uh-huh. Day. Bukas okay. din po yun. October 11 is na- National Coming Out Day, Day. So para sa lahat ng mga miyembro ng LGBTQ plus community, let's always remember that our identities are valid and it is what makes us beautiful. There are some questions coming from the audience and uh, I, I hope all of you are willing to answer. There's a question from Asel, Cecilia. Any advice po on students who are dealing with online class? I'm struggling na po and don't know how to cope with it. Uh, siguro, Doc RJ muna. Oo, kasi feel the feel ko yan ngayon eh. Kasi nag-online classes kami ngayon sa UT. Um, siguro, the first thing talaga is to really organize your tasks. No? Um, Siyempre, ako ginagawa ko, linilist ko talaga siya. I make a very detailed calendar. Pero I do recognize na may iba talaga sa atin na hindi fond of making those kinds of very tedious uh, plans. No? So, Whatever works for you, no. Pero ako, what I do is that I organize yung mga gagawin ko for that week, no. Para at least alam ko na at kung paano ko i-manage yung yung time ko na pag mayroong class, no. Pangalawa is to also have that communication with your teacher, no. Kailangan open yung lines natin sa kanila kasi for sure hindi lang naman estudyante yung nahihirapan ngayon, but also the teachers, di ba? Lahat tayo nag-adjust with online classes. So, siguro, kailangan din natin na uh, i-communicate. Ano ba yung mga needs natin? Paano ba natin ma-improve yung pag-deliver ng, ng lesson? But at least, it's a two-way street. No? Hindi lang yung, ano, hindi natin kinikimikim yung mga frustrations natin. Kasi hindi naman talaga ma-address yan unless we actually share it. No? Parang ano lang, government, di ba? Pag hindi tayo nag-descent, 
wala talaga mangyayari hindi aayos ang ating gobyerno and uh, of course uh, nandiyan rin yung pagkakaroon ng uh, setting boundaries so, so we have to respect actually yung rest periods natin kasi isa yan sa mga napapansin ko eh with uh, with online classes as well as yung mga naka work from home setup nawawala na yung uh, social cues natin between work and rest so yung tendency ta- sa atin is gawin na gawin na lang yung mga yung mga activities natin at saka yung mga academic load natin so we have to learn how to pace ourselves we also need to learn no as students on when when natin ginawa na enough na no so kailangan i-pace rin natin sa din natin and really respect yung mga breaks natin even weekends thank you RJ does anyone uh, want to contribute uh, answering that question Siguro, uh, Rachel, I can come from a school administrator's point of view because um, my family owns a school and my sister and I are running it. And this is to talk to teachers. Um, I, I want to, to address this concern to teachers because somehow, of course, there is pressure to everyone. Diba? All stakeholders of the education field um, are pressured with how to deal with it. But for the teachers, I think what matters to students right now um, is the ability to just learn one thing. Yun lang. Yung hindi, hindi na tayo bound by grades by now. Kundi education is a call for us to be able to excite students to learn about life, to learn a skill, to appreciate the beauty of this world and how interrelated things are. So mga practical learnings that we can um, impart our students are more relevant at sana ma-relate natin yon sa mga lessons natin kung bakit natin pinag-aaralan si X plus Y, um, kung bakit natin sinasabi na any number that is divided by zero is always undefined, Diba? Yung mga ganyan. Um, kasi importante yung practical approach to learning. Because right now that I'm 33, the things that I now carry with me are not the concepts, but the the use of the concepts in my life. Na, for example, um, yung simpleng math and simpleng subtraction and addition, makakatulong yan para maging logical at critical thinker ako at para hindi ako maloko ng, ng, ng mga tao pagdating sa panunukle. Yung mga ganong simpleng mga bagay na kung paano natin gagamitin sa buhay. Kasi at the end of the day, pag nabas mo ng mundo, hindi naman tatanungin ng mga tao kung ano ang honor mo or kung ano ang grade mo sa ganitong subject. But they will measure you in accordance to the skill that you were able to learn through the years of learning. At Yun yung advice ko siguro sa mga estudyante ngayon. Learn a skill. It's very, very important and it will come in handy. May it be cooking, may it be art, may it be speaking in front of public. In any form, that's the best thing that you can learn right now. And do not and never be pressured by the grades because the greatest measure that you can always count on will be how good is yourself in terms of dealing with other people? Marunong kang magpakatao at tao kang nabubuhay, tao kang namumuhay at ang pakikitungo mo ay naayon sa taong nabubuhay, ibig sabihin, mahusay kang tao. Thank you, Mela, and thank you, RJ. There's another question here about um, how do we deal, how do I deal with toxic relatives? Ako, ibang, ibang classic tanong yan. <laughs> Anyone want to volunteer <laughs> to answer that question? <laughs> uh, pwede mo silang i-block kung hindi ka nakatera with <laughs> Pero kung, <laughs> hindi, pwede mo rin silang i-mute para hindi nila alam na hindi mo nababasa yung mga pinapost nila. No, but that's real practical advice. Ha? Hindi, mo sa, hindi mo kailangan gumawa ng drama na mag-blockan kayo. Pwede mo lang silang i-mute <laughs> para walang feelings na ma-hurt. But if you're living with them, nako, toxic ba ako? Sure. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, 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 nako, I, I, I feel for you. I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do if I was living with a toxic relative. Yeah. Probably so, you. No, RG, would, would you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
uh, ako kasi parang um, usually parang ang hirap kasi pag paglinibel mo na kasi yung isang tao as bilang toxic parang nawawala na yung chance for you to have a very good communication line so isa yan sa gusto ko i-highlight na meron laging espasyo for us to actually uh, share them kung ano yung concerns natin although um, yung proseso kasi ng pagbabahagi natin ay posibleng ano siya no uh, part by part no it's always a constant process of unfolding so siguro i-share mo muna kung ano yung comfortable ka i-share and minsan kailangan mo rin silang tanungin kung kumusta sila kasi sabi nga nila if you actually are vulnerable you also give others the permission to become vulnerable as well. So, magbahagi ka para sila rin ay mag-share sa'yo. Kasi you have to really map out kung ano yung mga points of unity na pwede nating mag-usapan. And then later on, i-map out natin kung ano yung behavior na yan. Um, it might also help if you can also point out objectively ano yung mga things na sa tingin mo ay hindi nakakatulong sa relationship ninyo. No? So, isa yan sa mga pwede nating uh, i-emphasize sa kanila. So, as much as possible, itry natin i-rehearse yung situation bago natin sila approach para at least pag hinarap na natin sila, uh, in a better position tayo in terms of managing those kinds of conflicts. And remember na yung mga pagkakaroon ng positive relationships, uh, hindi laging smooth sailing yan. Eh. Sometimes, conflicts can also be sources of growth dun sa relationship ninyo. Sure, Attorney sure. Shell, can I just say this? Sure, sure. Go ahead. May I just say, coping mechanism ko na kasi, ang mga simple joy. And Doc RJ, you are my simple joy today. Maraming maraming salamat. Tinasasaya mo ko at crush kita sa pagkakataon ko. <laughs> I am confessing to the world that you are my crush right now. <laughs> Naka-amaze lang ako when he explains things and I'm like, I like listening to you. I can listen to you all day. Grabe, it's a really good advice. Correct. Oh, oh. In fairness, sa kanya, he he he. Parang hindi mo sabi si perspectives. Ang galing mo. Oh, oh. Let's talk. Kataan, Let's talk. Nagaling, nabang nagaling, baby. Ako kasi nabang nagaling sa kanya. Yeah. Doc RJ, um, follow up question. Where where can people go if they're really having a hard time? Where 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 are are there places they can call, people they can talk to? Part of support system, but Let, let's talk about support systems. Yeah, um, actually, pag pinag-usapan po natin yung support, uh, it doesn't always have to be a psychiatrist or a psychologist. No? Uh, ako, very big advocate talaga ako ng mga non-specialist na nagtumutulong. No? So that includes yung mga kaibigan natin, yung mga kapamilya natin. Yan yung actually first line of defense natin dapat pag pinag-usapan natin yung mental health. Kasi uh, syempre, alam naman natin, uh, sa state ngayon ng mental health, hindi siya masyadong napupondohan. Uh, so kailangan natin i-utilize talaga ano yung resources na meron tayo. Pero kung sakali na sa tingin natin ay naapektuhan na talaga yung ating mental health, hindi tayo um, kailangan natin talaga pumunta sa isang psychiatrist or a psychologist. So maraming mga low-cost services right now. So meron tayong National Center for Mental Health USAP Hotline. So pwede po natin i-search yung number nila. So mamaya pwede natin i-flash dito yung exact number so that just in case na merong nanonood na kailangan ng additional support, you can always reach out to them. Uh, meron rin sila outpatient clinic. No? So uh, you, you can also have a consultation to a psychiatrist or psychologist kahit na online. So, ito yung tele-mental health services natin. Ayan. So, ayan. May, may ano pa pala. Vlogging portion. Okay. So, yun sa Facebook page namin. You can also reach out to us. Meron kaming mga kinoconduct na support group sessions for young people na naka-experience ng some form of distress. So, yun lang po. Maraming mga ways to reach out. Maraming mga gustong tumulong. Uh, sometimes, kailangan din natin mag-ano, mag-bukas ng ating sarili from time to time. Ayan, tanong ko sa lahat. Who are your support systems? Uh, let's start with AC. Ang aking support system ay ang aking mother and my friend. Ayan. Pero nakaranas na ako noon ng ganon, Doc RJ, yung parang tumawag ako sa crisis hotline because ang dami talaga mga hindi ka ayaya sa internet tapos inanxiety ako hindi makatulog tapos effect siya na parang tumawag ako tapos ito po yung problema ko okay sabi niya sa akin um to calm down sleep matulog ka mo itulog mo tapos kung bukas mo gumamater pa rin sa mo siya action and something like that pero ayun ang daming pwedeng support system ngayon to be honest we just need to open our eyes sa mga support systems na yun totoo uh, Jim and Sal? 
Who's your, Who are your support system? Uh, well, si Sab. <laughs> um, uh, and again, our, our parents. Um, so that's why, yun nga, gusto ko lang balikan na yung sinabi ko nga kanina na talagang finilter na namin yung information namin. So for example, if we want to learn, uh, if we want to help um, help manage our, our, our feelings, our anxieties, we talk to each other, the people you love. If you want to learn about um, the COVID situation, you know, you don't check Viber groups, you don't check, uh, you know, you, 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 you yeah, so, um, yun, I guess that. Um, support groups, yun, um, very valuable. I'm very lucky na yung parents namin, we're very lucky that our parents are very, very supportive. Um, one piece of advice, alam ko kasi, now that we're, uh, I think a lot of married people are having issues because nga, you're really together the whole time. Um, one piece of advice that I found really helpful is hopefully kung okay ka with your in-laws is if you have problems with your um, significant other, you go to your in-law para magreklamo instead of to your parent. Kasi, and just not di magreklamo, but like to vent. Kasi forever na lang mamahalin yung anak nila. <laughs> Pero kung mag-rant ka sa magulang mo, syempre na bad, bad shot yung ano mo, partner mo. So I think that's a piece of advice that I could give and sana sana naman nakatulong <laughs> sa inyo. Thank you. For the future. Bella? <laughs> Attorney Shella, I'm very lucky to have a very accepting home. Um, I pinagyayabang ko talaga sa buong mundo how valuable my parents are in terms of me as a trans woman because um, these two people allowed me to soar the highest. Nang dahil sa kanila, sinubukan kong abutin lahat ng mga pangarap na gusto kong abutin. And I owe it to them. Kaya hindi ko sila ipagpapalit. I am blessed to have that. Um... My, my family um, has always been the number one source of support. My, my siblings as well. I am the eldest of four. And I'm, I'm very happy that now that we are of age, I can confide with them with anything. I can be naked in front of them, literally and figuratively. Without, without kumbaga parang, hinuhubad ko lahat sa kanila, emosyon, um, damdamin. Minsan pa nga pinapayuhan nila ako sa, sa, sa buhay. At um, knowing that that I have them by my side, um, even if I'm not in a relationship, I am loved. And that love matters to me right now. So you and appreciating the, the leverage of the family that I have been blessed with, yon sobrang strong support system. In terms of friends, ang ginawa ko at Attorney Shell, naging habit ko na na parang there are different um, concerns that I um, go to, to different type uh, to, to, to my friends. So, merong isa tungkol sa pag-ibig, merong isa tungkol sa mga pangarap, merong isa tungkol sa, um, sa life decisions, meron namang isa tungkol sa uh, mga crushes ko online kasi simple joy ko po ang mga crush ko online. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, 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 po. Ngayon na parang I'm not dating or I can't go out to date. O di magpapakasasa na lang ako sa mga BL, BL crushes ko, sa K-drama crushes ko. At ngayon nadagdagan pa ako ni Doc RJ na papapansin <laughs> <laughs> ako sa kanya para lang pasayahin niya ako. He'll be my support system. Too. So, yung bagay. At that point, kasi ako na, 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 wala para ko yung Aldam dyan. Sa tao na. Oo. Wow. Hindi, I am confessing my crush, my, my, my feelings of having a crush on RJ kasi naniniwala ako that it can make me, make, it can make him feel good about himself too. Now you're oh. cute and you're lovable and you're wise, you're smart and you're worthy of being a crush. So yun lang, pinapasaya lang kita. Mela, are you telling our viewers na kung meron silang crush, they should say it? Yes! Yes, especially in this time of pandemic. There's nothing to fear. 2020. Um, 2020 na, lumandi na tayong lahat, landiin na natin ang mga gusto natin landiin. Kung hindi nila tayo landiin, back, then you next. Move on to your next crush. If they respond, then well then and good. Be happy and just enjoy the moment. I think 
that's what I've learned right now to be able to seize the moment and enjoy it. If nothing happens about it, then there are a lot of opportunities. Hindi lang isa ang choice mo. Ang dami isda sa dagat, marami kang pwedeng tikman, bilhin, at namnamin. <laughs> yes. Okay. You know, class, I, I've really enjoyed this uh, evening. I've learned so much. I just have uh, actually a couple more questions before we wrap up. My, my first question is, what if other people need help, uh, people close to us? How, how can we be a support system for them? What if a loved one is going through something? What's the best thing that we can do to help them? Pero simulan natin kay Doc RJ. Ayan. Um, well, when we talk about helping a person, that may dalawang ways. No? Yung isa is providing psychosocial support, which is listening to that person. Uh, yung hindi yung pagbibigay ng mga advice. Kasi sometimes, ganun sa TV, di ba? Parang kunwari si best friend ay nagkukwento siya ng problema niya. Si other best friend ay nagbibigay na ng mga solusyon. So we have to understand that we re- we're just there as people who want to help, to listen to them lang. No? Hindi tayo yung magdirect kung anong mga decisions na gagawin nila in life. Kasi hindi naman natin alam yung buong konteksto. No? So we refrain from providing advice. So as much as possible, nandun lang tayo to to help them reflect kung ano yung problema na kinakaharap nila, ano yung mga choices na gagawin nila, at supportahan sila kung ano man yung mga pag-desisyonan nila. And the second uh, type of support na gusto kong uh, i-share ay yung tinatawag nating practical support. So kunwari, nawalan ng trabaho, di ba? ABS-CBN workers, nawalan ng trabaho ngayon. So one of the things na pwede natin itulong sa kanila is to help them with their income. So isa yan sa mga pwedeng makapagbababa ng ano natin, no? ng stressors na kinakaharap ng mga natin. So, both psychosocial as well as practical help are actually needed. Actually, minsan, yung physical presence mo lang, malaking bagay na yun eh. Tumabi ka lang sa kanya, um, uh, kasamahan mo lang siya na kumain, or, di ba, ngayon, kahit na Zoom, uh, naka-online platforms tayo, pwedeng sabay na kumain. So, yung mga ganun, maliit na bagay, pero malaki yung yung uh, effect in terms of pagpapagaan ng loob sa ibang mga tao. Thank you. That's so helpful. Uh-huh. Question for, for everyone, and I think this is um, almost near the end of our class today. Where do you find hope? Kasi yun nga, yung feeling ng, ng iba na hopeless na situation, I feel so powerless, parang walang nangyayari. Where, where can we draw that, that energy to hope? Mela, you know, you, you're such a positive mindset. San, san nang gagaling yung yung uh, positive energy mo? I think it is because I learned how to love myself. I learned to appreciate myself, flaws and all. I learned to appreciate the simple joys that I have around me. I learned to appreciate my faith. I learned to appreciate my God. I learned to appreciate the world that I live in, that even if there are a lot of people um, throwing negativities at me, throwing negativities at the society I live in, I always believe that there's this simple thing that will still allow me to hope, and that's kindness. As long as we be kind to ourselves, na kahit magkamali tayo, kahit feeling natin gusto na nating mag-give up, kahit feeling na natin wala na tayong ibang options, kindness will always tell you, magpahinga ka muna, huminga ka, okay lang magpahinga, okay lang umiyak, okay lang na malungkot, at okay lang na, na makadama ng, ng kawalan ng pag-asa. And with that in mind, you recharge and you regain strength. At kapag nakakakuha ka na ng strength in that process of being kind to yourself, you will see the blossoming blessings outside of you. Pamilya, kaibigan, pangarap, pag-asa. Ang mga sinti- I only met you today, Doc RJ. Uh, AC, nag- nag-hi lang tayo this week. Sab. And Jim, I've known them since college. And at Orichal, I just met you last Wednesday. But I consider you as simple joys. Kasi kung di naman dahil sa conversation na ito, hindi rin ako makakapag-reflect about where I am at right now. At ano pa ang gusto kong mangyari sa buhay. Kaya mabait ang buhay. Mabuti ang buhay. 
let's appreciate the kindness of life and life will be kind to us. And that's where hope is. Thank you. Uh, AC? Ako po, uh, humuhugot ako sa, ng hope. Sa, yun din, actually sa sarili, eh, na parang right now, wala ka ibang pwede mapaghugutan yun kundi sa sarili, na parang humuhugot ka pa sa iba, baka mahasel pa sila. So, para as much as possible, kung ano yung pwede makapagpasaya sa akin. And kung uh, parang, para remember ko lang na mahal ko yung sarili ko everyday, yun yung ginagawa ko. Because, sabi nga, di ba, di ba, di ba, learning to love yourself. It's the greatest <laughs> love of all. And, um, yun nga, eh, meron talagang days din talaga na mag-feel mo na parang, oh my God, what, bakit, bakit, bakit ako pinakadak sa katawan na to? But, uh, mas, titignan ko pa rin yung mga araw na nagpapasalamat ako na dito ako pinanganak sa katawang to. Ito yung mga abilities ko. Doon din ako humugot ng mga hosts eh, na parang, um, ito yung abilities ko. Pwede kong mabago ang mundong ginagalawan ko sa abilities ko na to. Na it keeps me going. Na kahit na naka-idle ako ngayon, alam ko na nasa akin pa rin yung abilities ko na yun. And kahit na Siguro mga two to three years pa tayong naka-idle. Alam ko, um, kaya ko siyang patulisin, kaya ko siyang ihon, um, kasi nasa akin siya. And it's something na I know the world needs, na hindi man lahat. I, I just know that I am someone na can bring a bit of change, kahit konti lang. And yun, I think that's where I... Doon ako humuhugot ng hope. Uh, Sab and Jim, you, I've, I've heard you talk about, Sab, the, the youth vote. Um, does that give you hope? And, and do you think that uh, this is important? Uh, well, graded ba ito? Charot. Pasado na kayo. Maka-pressure kasi nung si Melang tumagot. <laughs> Well, uh, okay, uh, I guess, um, I think, ano, as a voter, um, as a voter, um, I, I remember the feeling na, oh my God, this is hopeless. Like, you, you feel the wave of, ano eh, no chance to, but what we've been trying to push is that um, it's this simple, okay? Um Everyone now is an influencer, um, and it doesn't matter if you're an influencer like you know Mela, AC, or or Sab, or RJ. You know, with with big followings, I, everyone has at least twenty people following them. And when I say following them, it means really seeing what they do. So if um, if you can get your friend to to buy a certain beer, buy a certain cup of coffee, then maybe you can get them to think that voting is important and is cool. Um, and if you do that, then you affect 20 people. Those 20 people can affect another 20 people. So, yun, um, that, I guess that's where I find hope. I find hope in the fact that um, with this situation, um, people are really angry na. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, and angry enough to actually do something. Um, yun lang. Let's just hope, and maybe Attorney Chell, you can um, give a better update on like how registration <laughs> access is being given, because um, yeah, th honestly, that's the only thing we can do. Uh, we'll save that for when uh, Attorney Chell guests on our podcast. Plug <laughs> Wake Up with Jim and Tab exclusively on Spotify, and also at. Uh, just to add lang about where to find hope, I completely agree with Mela and AC. I really think being kind to yourself is so important because you really can't pour from an empty cup. That's why self-care should really not be overlooked. And when, there are days talaga, tama AC, when you feel like, oh, I just really don't like myself. But then I, I, I also have that. But then I, 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 I look at my kids, sila talaga ang source of hope ko. And I think na parang, hey, I made that. <laughs> parang, so, so I love myself na talaga. <laughs> so ayun, that, that's my answer. Wow, thank you. I have just one last question, and this is for Doc RJ. How can you invest in, in mental health 
di ba, minsan may nasabi nila may, may stigma daw that mental health is only for people who can afford it. How would you respond to that? Did you get me? Um, yeah. Siguro po, gusto ko muna mag-respond dun sa what gives me hope because it's somehow also related doon sa um, mga challenges no, in terms of health inequity. No? Um, ako po, uh, no, nag, naniniwala ako na meron talagang mga espasyo for us to really change the system. Uh, hindi pa nakakast in stone ng future natin. Kaya nga kanina, I recognize yung sinasabi kanina na importance of elections, importance of doing resistance work, especially now na sobrang daming mga problema na kinakaharap ng bansa natin. And uh, siguro, kasama nung pag-resist natin ay yung pag-iimagine ng uh, isang mas makatalungan at, at mas pantay na, ano, na Pilipinas na gusto nating likain. So, malaking parte yung mga kabataan dyan. And uh, ako rin ay, ano, no, uh, parang I take inspiration also from the different sectors na kahit na sobrang daming kinakaharap nila ngayon ay uh, patuloy pa rin sila doon sa pag-forward ng kanilang mga agenda. So yung mga magsasaka, yung mga manggagawa. So lahat ng yan ay malaki yung ano yung yung uh, ginagawa nila ngayon to actually change the system. At uh, syempre, with regard to the investing in mental health, uh, importante talaga na mag magkaroon ng pondo kasi meron na po tayong Philippine Mental Health Law. So ngayon, uh, hindi siya masyadong na-implement. No? Alam naman po natin na meron talagang gap between uh, passing a law and actually implementing it. So ngayon, na nagkakaroon tayo ng budget deliberations, it's very important that we fund yung mga policies and programs natin for mental health. Kasi isa yan sa mga paraan para ma-anchor natin yung idea na yung state ay merong responsibilidad para sa health ng kanyang mga mamamayan. Pero syempre sa mga, uh, mga uh, ngayon kasi wala pang ganun eh, wala pang mga services na ganun. So siguro what we can do is that we can uh, really reach out to those uh, volunteer na mga organizations. In the past few months, napakaraming mga civil society organizations na nag-step up at nagbigay ng free psychological and even psychiatric services. So you can actually visit yung uh, link na bit.ly slash mhservicesph. No? So mamaya pwede po natin i-flash yan. Pero yung mga yun ay compiled list ng Psychological Association of the Philippines na nagbibigay ng low-cost services. So hindi lang po siya para sa mga mayayaman. Actually, uh, may, meron tayong magagawa. No? Kahit yung mga informal community-based care na dapat accessible na sa atin ngayon sa mga barangay natin. A question for, for all of us um, here. How, how do you invest in, in, in mental health? Um, AC, Jim, Sab, and, and Mela. AC Ako, first. ano, um, I'll be very transparent, ano. Very recent, recently ko lang talaga tinanggap na I need uh, professional help. Just because, yun nga, nagkaroon talaga ng time na mali yung, uh, I'm channeling the wrong emotion towards the wrong um, venue. So parang, I decided to um, solve this um, with a professional because I don't want din naman to, um, I, I don't want everything to be broadcasted through the internet. So parang very recently ko lang talaga na, na accept na parang I need help. And it doesn't really mean that, um, uh, tawag dito, um, depressed ako or, um, I have problems. I just, um, acknowledge na I need that kind of help. And I think yun yung, ano eh, yun yung start eh, yun yung, yung mitsa ng lahat eh, na parang, dun mo masisimula na parang, ito yung pwede kong gawin for self-care, nauunahin mo yung sarili mo, because, ayun, tama ba yun doko, RJ? Is that a good, parang, is that a way to invest sa mental health? Yeah, actually, ano nga, recognizing when you need help already is uh, already a big step. No? Ako nga, kahit ako isang uh, mental health advocate, there will be times that I will have bad days. Kaya ako, nag-seek na rin ako ng help of a psychologist. No? So, hindi tayo immune to, to mental health conditions just because we're professionals, just because uh, mataas yung following na, ng ilan sa atin dito. So, kailangan i-recognize natin na lahat tayo ay posibleng maging vulnerable because tao lang naman tayo, di ba? So, may mga chances talaga na maapektuhan tayo ng mga day-to-day -day concerns na kinakaharap natin. Dagdag ko lang, before ko na-realize na, na I needed professional help, ang number one ko na parang way to escape is to go to another country para mag-isa ko. 
is that a good doping mechanism or para lang siyang escapism? Because I, a feeling ko ang dami rin ganun eh, na parang um, na bumibil ng stuff para mawala yung isip. Parang ganun, parang ini-escape lang nila yung problema nila. Is that a good coping mechanism? Uh-uh. <laughs> um, siguro ano rin, no? Uh, ayun. Ayun, bumalik na kami lang. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pag ano, pag, uh, siyempre pag lagi natin iniwasan yung mga ano natin, uh, problema natin, that's called your passive coping mechanism. Kasi minsan nagsasabay-sabay talaga sila eh. Kaya may mga problema talaga na kailangan natin muna iset aside, no? Uh, pero at the end of the day, kailangan pa rin natin harapin yung mga problema natin para ma-manage natin sila ng maayos. And I guess I guess alone time is not I mean yung kay AC no alone that was I think that was valuable alone time being alone with yourself is a really big deal because some people they really don't want want to be alone because they don't like being alone with their thoughts so I think that's a I would I'm not a professional but I think that I think I would do the same thing uh, ako um how I invest in mental health if I can just share in um, when Jim and I, we went through a tough um, first birth, ng, um, firstborn namin, we lost a baby. And uh, I just wanted to share Now, I did seek, prof- Jim and I both sought professional help. And there's really no, no parang, uh, it's not something that you should be ashamed of. Ako, I'm, I really say it to anyone who will hear me out. Because sometimes people, when they see professional, uh, when they talk to someone who is a professional sa tingin nila parang one time gagawin nila tapos dapat kung hindi mag-work parang okay stop ayoko na it's not working for me sometimes you have to find the right fit rin so i went through a couple na may mga um parang flop. yeah parang uh yeah mga flop <laughs> may mga hindi talaga nag parang uh, hindi sila nakikinig basta parang hindi ano so may natas may nahanap ako na really worked for me and I think it really really um, helped me find a breakthrough in um, my my grief in dealing with grief. So ayon it, uh, kung kung hindi magwork for the first time you can try others and I hope like with services that Doc R J you talked about, sana it can really be more accessible to people. Yes. Yeah, and uh, siguro ako lang, just last lang uh, to add. Uh, I think yung searching for the for where to invest in, um, it doesn't mean that you have to break the bank every time. So ako, my advice is you um, pasok, uh, you, kumbaga, you try things that you can afford first. <laughs> a, a simple thing like talking to your wife, talking to your girlfriend, talking to your mother, um, reading books, YouTube, whatever. Um, uh, but there will come a time na just like anything naman eh, just like anything na you try to build, parang ako, the way I see it, it's like how you, if you want to work out, no? So umpisa, oh, I want to lose weight, so I'm gonna run, kasi libre yun. Uh, I'm gonna fix my diet, at least mas mura. But eventually, you think na, oh, okay, I have to kind of step my game up and put some money in it because it's my body na hindi na lang to losing weight. It's about, um, you know, building strength. So I see that this that's the same way in terms of uh, sa, 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 your, you know, your mental health. Na you, 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 there will come a time, ako nga, actually, yun nga, I had to deal with anxiety. I, I learned that I had... Um, anxiety attacks. Yeah, yeah. I was having anxiety attacks na, you know, that stemmed from when I was a kid, this lumabas because nga of, you know, the, the ordeal that we had. So anyway, it came to a point na sabi ko, ay, ako kasi yung kuripot sa aming dalawa. So ako the whole time... Ayaw talaga niya magbayad. Sabi ko, girl, ano ba? <laughs> so anyway, I I yun, I would recommend talaga, like, you know, CAC si also, you know, sought help. Um, kukunin ko yung number ni Doc RJ. Hindi, <laughs> 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 pero... Um, <laughs> kukunin ko yung number niya. Hindi, <laughs> pero... Yun, um, yun, eventually... Um, there's there are things that your wife, that your girlfriend, that your mother can't handle. 
that they that yeah. they're not equipped to handle and maybe they're parang maybe spare them rin the burden of having to you know to to deal with something that they can't manage yeah thank you amela how do you invest in in mental health you know what attorney shell the first time i invested for my mental health was when i was going through a gender identity crisis before i transitioned i consulted with a professional so as i i am sure i am sure of myself i don't gonna realize na ang hilig natin to invest on on things that are outside of our bodies the map cell phone bahay kotse sasakyan material things outside of our body yet we neglect investing on what's inside of us health diba puso utak um, nerves everything in our body at crucial yon always remember that we cannot hold on to these material things if the things that are inside of us are not stable importante yon the stability of the mind the stability of your internal organs, the stability of the things you cannot see inside of you are very important so that you can buy the things that are outside of you. Um, pag mahal mo ang sarili mo, gagastosan mo siya. Kasi yung sarili mo na yun yung magtataguyod sa'yo. Kung yun ngang jowa mo, willing mong bilhan ng milk tea, willing mong bilhan ng kahit na ano. Bakit hindi mo bilhan ang utak mo, ang puso mo, ang kaluluwa mo ng mga bagay na makakatulong para mas lumago at mas lumalim sila? When I sought for help during the time that I wasn't sure of me, that's the eureka moment that when everything is stable inside, I can do anything and I can always be myself. There is an assurance despite the uncertainties of the future. There's always an assurance this, despite the uncertainty of opportunities. And as long as I am assured within me, then I can become confident and handle the things that I can control, the things that I want to control, and the things that I want to achieve. So, meron na tayo mga alternatives ngayon. Uh, meron tayong um, sinasuggest nga si Doc RJ. Sungga ba natin yon Because these are opportunities. But let's not Uh, stop dreaming that one day um, the government will allow us to have a free access to mental health um, support because definitely kapag hindi naman malusog ang mga tao paano uunlad ang Pilipinas pag hindi malusog mag-isip ang mga tao paano magkakaroon ng magandang vision ang bansa- bansang ito um, mangarap tayo at manalig tayo at bumoto tayo yeah and lastly ano pala, mura lang naman ng Dolomite. <laughs> <laughs> gusto ko yan, gusto ko yan. Wow, it's, you know, this is so great. We've had such a great discussion this evening. And I want to thank uh, tonight quarantine classmates. It's really been a, a wonderful time that we've had. You know, as a teacher, I, I'd like to say that teachers just don't teach. We also learn. And today I learned so much from all of you. So the learning and the teaching really go two ways. It's really not a one-way street. I'd like to thank uh, Sab and Jim. I'd like to thank Mela. I'd like to thank AC and RJ. One big malakit pasalamat sa inyong lahat. Class for tonight is dismissed. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye. Picture muna. Oh. <laughs> Who will take? Uh, CJ? Oh, I know. Bye. 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 Bye.